I still love watching what's in my bag tag videos. There is just something about seeing what's inside, uh, what's on trend, uh, thoughts and reviews about bags. So I just knew that when I picked up my very first Chanel handbag, I would had to dedicate a video to uh, seeing what's inside. So this is the Chanel Small Classic flap in pink. <laughs> I picked this up uh, earlier this year um, in 2022 in Australia. I've gotten a few questions as to what the colour is. I would say a raspberry pink. I chose the small classic flap over the medium because I'm quite a minimalist when it comes to my handbags. I don't actually like to carry a lot of things. I like to keep it very simple. I don't really like carrying heavy bags. I'll often just take the essentials with me. I also like to wear my bags cross body. So even though this is not meant to be worn cross body, you can kind of get away with it sitting just at the top of your hip. So I like that you can still wear this uh, cross body. So let's see what fits inside the handbag. Okay. I have my sunglasses. This is from an Australian brand called Key. You pretty much need sunglasses everywhere you go here in Australia. I have my earpods. I cannot leave the house without my earpods. If I have to catch public transport here, I feel so naked without my uh, earpods. I usually try and carry an all-in-one lipstick product. So this is NARS in Roman Holiday. Next, I have my compact. This one is from Clinique. What I love about it is that you can refill the, the uh, top part. You can refill the powder. I don't know why in Asia you can always find these refillable uh, eco-friendly packets, but somehow I think in Australia, the US, it's harder to find brands that offer refillable uh, compact uh, cases. So I really like that about the Clinique one. I also have my Louis Vuitton coin purse. This has been a ride or die SLG. This has lasted years. I've, I have not needed to change wallets for almost six or seven years. I think if I lost it, I would have to repurchase another one because I love it so much. And then last, I have my iPhone uh, 13 Max Pro. So this is probably one of the larger iPhones on the market at the moment, but it still fits quite fine in my handbag there. That's all I have. I'll also keep in my keys, but I can't seem to find where they are at the moment, but I'll, it, my keys will also fit in there um, in my bag. So. So I've had this bag now for probably about six months. Um, I don't use it every day, but I do take it out uh, for special occasions, whether it's date night, uh, going to dinner with friends. So I've probably used it about once a week, every other week or so. I do baby it and I hate the fact that I have to baby my bags, but I'm just so petrified of anything happening to it. I keep it in the box when I'm not using it. I still like the tissue paper and it feels like I'm kind of unboxing it every time I use it. Uh, so I still take care of my bags that way. The only thing I probably don't love about the bag is that it does start to show dents quite easily. So where the tag rests on the bag, you can start to see dents and it's just something that I have to kind of be mindful of uh, when storing the bag. And also, unlike some other bags with a chain, it is quite hard to maneuver. So you can't just pull your chain out. I love being able to adjust chains quite quickly, but it's not as 
smooth. So every time I need to adjust the chain, I do have to open the bag and slowly adjust it. That's just something to keep in mind if you like to transition your bags uh, quickly. I hope you found this helpful and look forward to sharing more about handbags in a future video.